Hi, I'm Simon Edwards from Tonejet and I want to talk you through our new Cyclone Digital Can Printing Press. Firstly, we have a can depalletizing system. And so this is the type of depalletizer you would get in a typical can brewing situation or a filling factory. The cans are depalletized at speed. They come down the conveyor line. And from this conveyor line, they come down to the auto loader on the digital printing press. The cans are then loaded here into the loading station. They're loaded at a speed of 60 cans a minute and they come down through into the digital printing press itself. So at the heart of this machine is of course the Tonejet digital printing technology which we can see at the top here. It's a CMYK colour printing station and it's printing directly onto the cans. Other than the obvious Tonejet innovations we have a number of other things here which are really quite unique. Um, in particular we can see here the iTrack system from Rockwell and this allows us to move the cans around the stations independently for different applications. So we have a slightly different speed at which they run on the print heads and they run at different speeds around some of these other components down here. The other thing that's very innovative is our decoupling of the mandrels from the process. So we have this really cool technology called passive mandrels. And as you can see, there's no moving cables on here at all. So essentially each mandrel is guided to the print stations and it's not until they get to the print stations that they then get coupled to be printed and synchronized to get that perfect image quality that we're after. The cans are then dried at the drying station at the bottom to dry them in and because Tonejet uses a very unique thin ink layer we then put a clear coating on it which matches the clear coating used in that application. So in this case we're using a standard beverage can type coating so we get that really unique quality that beverage cans need from adhesion and abrasions. And the likes. Once it's finished from the print process to the drying to the coating, the cans come back out of the system again and get unloaded here at the unloader. They're unloaded onto the conveyor line and they're unloaded in a way that the base of the can sits down on the conveyor so the neck isn't touching the conveyor. It's quite an important aspect so to make sure that the can's integrity or when they're filled and capped remains so they go back out to the filling stations they don't have any damage around the neck region. From there the cans would then go back onto a conveyor which would then transport them to the oven to cure the coating. Very much the same way that's done in a can factory today and then they get reloaded onto a pallet. So what you can see here is the whole process from depalletizing to printing to drying the coating and then back onto a deep repalletizer and then they get shipped out to a beverage can company such as a craft brewer or other type and then they get filled there. Um, so this is our unique new technology, we're calling it the Cyclone and the cool thing is we'll be showing this machine, we'll have one of these machines at the up and coming imprint.